I wanted to end the show this week with something to uplift you in the midst of all this unrest and uncertainty. My next guest is a country singer from West Texas, and he is starring in a new reality series about to premiere on Netflix. It features his wife and three young children as they navigate family life, careers, and severe tests of faith. It's called Country Ever After, and it's produced by our friend Roma Downey. Joining me to tell us about it all is Cafe Anderson. Cafe, thank you so much for being here, and congratulations on Absolutely. the show. I, I want to get into this. You, I, I want to start with your background, Cafe. Uh, you're okay. a country and gospel singer. Your wife is a hip-hop dancer and choreographer. Sounds like polar <laughs> opposites here. What brought you two together? How did you meet? Okay, we actually met in our church. We were introduced through somebody that we both knew. We hung out with, but we had never hung out together. Hmm. And um, at the church, we were introduced, and I was like, hey, I heard you like country music. She was like, I do. And I was like, girl, here goes my CD. She's like, get out my face. But then she puts the album in, in the car, listens to it. And she says, if he's anything like his music, he can call me to my friend Kelly. Wow. So I called. She ignored the first three calls. But I got in. I stalked her. I mean, we dated. And uh, a year later, uh, we were engaged and married. We're I here. love it. Well, now this new Netflix reality show based on your life, Country Ever After. It's about to premiere uh, yes. on November 6th. I want to show folks a little bit of this and then get your reaction. Roll okay. It. Babe, this is a normal sized vehicle in Texas. You're going to hit that. Wait, oh! The tire is right next to the car. Don't worry about that. My name is Kafe Anderson. I am an independent country music artist. Come on, a little bit louder. Can we country it up for you now? I'm from Bangs, Texas, but now I live in Los Angeles, California. I am married to the baddest woman on the planet, Priscilla Anderson. I have danced with some of the hottest superstars in today's industry. Thank you. I'm talking Snoop Dogg, Britney Spears, Rihanna. I feel like I can dance. Hey, fish and Reel Reel that in, throw it away. Lean it on the locker. It's a lot. I don't know how y'all do it. Oh. Priscilla and I have three <laughs> wonderful children. Go get a bed. I think what makes our family special is that we're completely opposite people. It is country versus city. My, my baby eats sushi, and he's seven. Now, th that's produced by our pal Roma Downey. It focuses on your lives, and it's not all fun and games, Cafe. Uh, what right. made you want to expose your life in this way? And how did you get involved in all this? Well, partnering with Roma Downey, you know good and well that, that credibility is going to be there, the class is going to be there. We wanted to show people not only our family, but also what we're going through as a small business owner with country music, with my wife dancing in the movie and television industry. Mm -hmm. And then we're also beating and fighting stage three cancer. We also have three little kids. So it's relatable in a lot of different ways for people, mm -hmm. but it's also a story that's never been told of the inside the home fighting against this disease that has affected so many directly or indirectly, mm -hmm. but also where does your faith play? What is your, if, if the joy of the Lord is our strength, when we're at our weakest moment, are we really gonna use that joy and how can we find it together? Mm -hmm. That's what Country Ever After is about. Yeah. Coffee, a major part of that first season is about your wife, Priscilla's stage four colon right. cancer. Tell us about right. the, the family struggle and her struggle with this disease and how are you all getting through it and coping with it? You know, we decided our second year of marriage before we even had children that we were going to fight for each other and not with each other. And when you say for better or for worse in sickness and in health, you better mean it. And we mean it. And so when we found out about her diagnosis, my faith kicked in and said, if one person beat it, we can beat it. So let's go at this thing together mm -hmm. with the Lord and with our babies. And let's see if we can mm -hmm. really do our best. And let's put our best foot forward continuously. It doesn't mean it's not tiring. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's not frustrating. It doesn't hurt. But guess what? Can we really fight for each other and not with each other in the midst of all this? Mm -hmm. Your wife earlier this year, when you received some good news about her condition, the tumors were shrinking. She said, I know that God has right. healed me. I know this is my miracle from God. How important is faith in your lives? And how important was it to show that in this reality series to you? We wanted to show the real side of us. A lot of people know me as a country star. They know her as a movie and dancing. We wanted to show people that we bless our food before we eat, that we talk with our kids, we pray over our kids before they go to sleep, for sweet dreams and they're protected. But we also really realized how much our faith that we depended on it. Whenever we went, we went back and watched an episode and I was like, wow, we really do depend on the Lord in every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. And Roma has a great um, saying when she says, 
I would rather be a candle to light up the darkness than the mm -hmm. voice that curses at the dark. Mm -hmm. Coffee, we're all going through this pandemic. There's this hotly contested election throughout the nation here. Everybody's on the edge of their seat. What is your message to viewers um, about handling adversity? And what do you hope people will finally take away from Country Ever After? What I want people to realize whenever you're going through adversity is that at some point you have to give yourself a break. You have to give your visual, the visual trauma that we're looking at, put your phone away. Give yourself a break, relax. You're homeschooling, you're teaching, you're working, you're parenting, you're single parenting, you're spousing, whatever it may be. And guess what? We don't all have it. Country ever after, you're gonna see that we don't have it together all the time. Give yourself a break. And when you watch this show, you're also gonna be able to put your feet up and relax. Can we just take a break from, from the election, from ballots, from COVID? Can we just take a break and can you laugh? Can you cry a little bit and pull for Priscilla to be healed? Pull for me to get that singing? Yes, you can. And Country Ever After gives you that chance to get a break. And it's the only family-friendly show that someone two or 102 can watch. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the content. This is family-friendly content through and through. Yeah, no, it, it has a Duck Dynasty vibe about it in, in West Texas. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Country Ever Thank After you, is starring Coffee Anderson premieres Friday, November 6th on Netflix. Thanks again. Thank you all. Bless you.